Hello and welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways, where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. I am Osayuwa Mesale and I am joined today by Sandra Eze and Olamide Olnifade. Hello, ah. hello. Our lawyer in the building. <laughs> <laughs> Lally, it's so been a minute. Went, yeah, yeah, a long yeah, one actually. Yeah. Okay, the last time I was on set, you yeah, were well, A M B C A. <laughs> oh, come on. And that's why some people are running away from us right now. Like, <laughs> like we should be in quarantine or like intense self isolation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, how are you doing though? I'm doing very well. How's the home front? I'm doing well. You know, I was calling you because of your, your daughters in the UK. You know, I kept on calling to be sure. And how are they? Well, the, they're in Birmingham, they're not in London. But still, just still have to be, yes. <laughs> so actually, I instructed them to stop going to school. Where Even I had before of, the ban. Yes, because, ah, no. Well, and my mom is well over 60. Okay. So she has to be also, so she's not yeah. going to work. Everything is on shutdown in the house. So when they go around the shops to buy anything, I instruct them, please wear your mask and gloves. So once they're coming into the house, they dump it outside. Yeah. Okay. I think we should, we, we can actually, we can the numbers this. in the UK is really scary. Yeah, it's quite scary. Yeah. That was, you know, that in, in Europe, you remember I took that story in the news when I was saying that UK is just like our hmm. backyard. Somebody right. can leave on a Friday, go to UK and come back on Sunday. Hmm. I kept saying this. So it's, it's like our government waited, they opened the borders. Let yes, the for it to happen, first, then it then shut down. It's like, it's like we were waiting for it to yeah. get up. So yeah. like it's real. Yeah. yeah. Now that we know you know there's this uh, conspiracy um, theory, theory going around. Um, I really do not think any government would want to do that. But still, hmm. What's, this, what's the theory? That people are in um, the government intentionally opened the border so we can have some cases and have access to the, the funds, funds that from are the globally available yes. from the WHO. Well, Nigerians are saying that, but I, I don't think I, I don't so. They're trying to tell what they're saying is that there are no cases, that why are they not identified? We don't have their names, their pictures, and all that. So, why are they? No, we don't have to have their pictures. I mean, yeah. because, yeah, even I just saw on um, Governor Son Wulu's um, Instagram page just right. like five minutes ago before mm -hmm. going live. He was celebrating that the index case, that's the Italian, the Italian guy, man, has now tested Luther. negative. And, so and guess what? He's gone back and to his face, Guess what? His face was blurred. Yeah. So, I mean, that's is to protect it because you don't know. Yeah. Nigerians are, I mean, I mean, not even Nigerians, even it abroad. Can be a little extra even abroad, like even this. abroad, you saw the way people were attacking Chinese people. So, oh. it can actually get to that violent stage. So Which brings me to Trump. Um, President Trump keeps calling it Chinese virus. Right. I think that's yeah. mean. I don't think that's right because if you were to go back to trace the history of HIV and AIDS, I mean, nobody is calling it American, American HIV. Yeah. It doesn't American make sense. virus. All right, so um, here's what we found us today quote no woman should lose her status her livelihood or properties when her husband dies that's from Ban Ki moon the former UN secretary general because today we're talking about will inheritance and all of that so I yeah. mean it's very very important yeah. in I mean it's celebrating Mother's Day as well mm -hmm. you know it's a quiet one that's why we're not screaming and all of that but we need to <laughs> Do you know, I didn't even remember yeah we need to we, we need to position women to be well informed when they yeah. go into marriages and all of that because they always end up being the victims to you know inheritance most of the time of, men yeah, most times, yeah. not men yeah, but men, yeah. Yeah. women very, usually very, yeah. yeah men yeah. women are like 93 percent more yeah. victims. maybe 95 yeah. all right yeah. so um as we celebrate mother's day today it is pertinent to ask mothers do you have a will how um and how will your children benefit from it what about your spouse? Even the most polite gentlemen will fight over inheritances. So we have two experts breaking this down for us today. But first, we'll take a quick break. When we return, we'll see what we found in the news. Please stay with us.